फ्रेंड्स इन दिस लेक्चर वी लर्न काउंट ऑफ एस काउंट ऑफ एस इज समथिंग लाइक मर्जिंग मेनी काउंट ऑफ इन वन प्लेस लाइक थ्री फोर काउंट ऑफ वी आर वी हैव टू यूज एंड वी कैन यूज ओनली सिंगल काउंट ऑफ एस इन प्लेस ऑफ टू थ्री काउंट ऑफ राइट वील सी दिस राइट इफ यू सी द क्वेश्चन इज टू फाइंड आउट हाउ मेनी स्टूडेंट्स आर देयर दैट हैव पास इन ऑल द सब्जेक्ट्स वी हैव कलर दिस लाइक इन इन लाइट रेड लाइट रेड यू सी देर आर थ्री स्टूडेंट्स that are passed in all the subjects our answer should be 3 but how can we reach that answer there is a long method and a short method long method is in the first cell we have to write this thing is equals to uh, we write down uh, c o u n t count if bracket open and then our range is from here to this and then comma and then we pay the how many of passed p like this we will calculate for all these when we calculate for all these using count if then in the end here we will write down equal to count if bracket open and we select our range and we put a comma and then we will find for 4 because 4 is for all the students who have passed all the there are four subjects so all students have passed 4 and like this we get an answer 3 this is a long method a short method is using count if s we will write down that equal to this your formula has already been given up in the form of a comments in for any help you can use them we have to write this thing is equal to count if s and then bracket open because there are many ifs count ifs so we have to put an s also after that you go to this formula bar on the top and click on this fx now we are having the window that is or dialog box that is showing the count of s criteria our first criteria is let us select this whole range and we have to check it here a p whether student is pass or not then we'll go to second select the second range and write down a p in the criteria then we'll go to third range select the third subject that is third range and scroll down little and write down a p here write down a p to check the next criteria and then in the fourth range we select the fourth range and then we go and write down the p and then we click in some other uh, range so that this inverted comma appears up and we say okay and our answer is you see our answer is 3 because there are three students left now how it functions it functions that it selects all these four ranges and in the corresponding cells it checks out p and if all the values are p because our criteria is 4 p's if all are p's it will count as 1 then second time when it count in fact p's it count as 2 and third time when it found out p then it count as 3 and in this way it functions let us see one more example here in this example we are having four salesmen and there are three products toothpaste perfume and washing machine and the table shows us that the salesmen have achieved their target like alpha has achieved the target for toothpaste but not achieved the target for other two products bravo achieved the target for toothpaste and perfume but not for the third product and similarly charlie and delta our three questions are count how many times alpha exceeded a sales target for toothpaste perfume and washing soap it says that how many times alpha exceeded all the three targets or not or how many times is exceeded the target so what we have to do is we will go to our formula and write down equal to and we will write down count if simple and we open it and this is our range and we put a comma inverted commas and we put a yes and inverted commas close and bracket close now you see we are using only one range so count if works but if we are using more than one range right then count if will not work we have to use count if s we'll use that in the second one now in this case how many times first case alpha exceed one time alpha exceeded now let us see the second question how many sales people exceeded both their toothpaste and perfume it is asking that how many sales people exceeded toothpaste and perfume so you see it is bravo that exceeded and charlie that exceeded the answer should be 2 because only two sales person exceeded let us see how we can do it now we have to write equal to o u n t count if 
as bracket open and we have to click on fx this dialog box for count if has opens up now you see what happens here is count if will not work count if has is used because there are two range the first range is for the toothpaste we select this and our criteria is yes we have to find out how many years are there then we have to click on criteria range 2 then our range is perfumes we select this and here we type down yes so what happened and then click somewhere in some other cells so what happened it will count in this two i'll show it again let us click on here now it selects these two columns and compare each and every value alternatively corresponding values so in the second it found years in the third it found years and it gives the answer as two because there are two instances where it founds years in both the cases that is what count if is all about now third is count how many salesmen exceeds all of his targets what it's saying is that in every place there has to be yes right you have to find out the salesmen how many salesmen are there that have exceeded all the targets so we can find out only charlie is there uh, where all the three targets are there this is quite easy because only four people are there imagine there are 400 salesmen then how we can find out then we have to use a formula because we cannot simply look and count so we'll put in the last cell equal to count if s bracket open and we'll have our fx dialog box uh, just in front of the formula bar and our first range is this is our first range and we have to find it yes then our second range and again in this range we have to find the criteria as yes and then our third range in the third range again we have to find out our criteria as yes then click on the blank range and after that ok now you see the answer is one because there is only one salesman which is having exceeded or attained all of its target